Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are exploring 2022's Pantone Color of the Year, Very Perry. Using several colors of DIY paint, I'm going to come as close as I can to Very Perry. Now you'll be able to find all the paint products and my flips over on my website, upcycledbybreed.com. But don't worry, I will leave all of that down in the description box below so it's easy for you to find. I thought Very Perry would be the perfect color to make some beautiful French country inspired floral arrangements. I'm going to be using a brand new heat gun today that was sent to me by Averitt. It's a 21 volt, lithium powered hot melt glue gun, which means it is cordless. It comes with two batteries and a charger and some extra glue sticks. So we're gonna try this out together and I'll let y'all know what I think. I do have a link for this down in the description box below if you are looking for a good hot glue gun of your own. As I am reading the article, on Very Perry, here's the description. A dynamic periwinkle blue hue with a vivifying violet red undertone. So I had some perfect colors in mind. We're gonna use a DIY Hey Sailor, DIY Beatboard, and then for the pop of that vivifying red, we're gonna go with Kissing Booth and try to get a beautiful periwinkle color. I used half a cup of Kissing Booth and Beadboard and added three tablespoons of Hey Sailor for this mix. Here is a look at my color mix next to Very Perry. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment below. Did I get pretty close? I'm using my Klingon F40 brush. I've got these in stock over in my brush collection on my site. I'll link it down below for you as well. Now this DIY paint is a clay based paint. It's all natural, only nine ingredients, highly pigmented and super thick. So what that means is it has amazing coverage with just one coat. Look at this light purple covering the black paint beautifully. After one good coat, here it is all dried up. You noticed it dries a little lighter and as I seal it, it will get darker again. First, I'm going to do a little wet distressing. I spray my rag with some water and rub the paint off. DIY paint is water soluble till it's sealed so you can distress indoors where it's warm with no sandpaper. I'll be using clear wax to seal today. I wanted to show you how buttery smooth this wax is. It's also all natural so I'm not worried about having it on my hands. Using a brush here to apply the wax, it goes on easy and quick. Off any extra wax with a rag. I wanted to show you here, I have a little tiny bit of color transfer, but you notice the paint is not rubbing off of my piece. It's on there for good now. To finish off this French country makeover, I'm going to use white decrepit dust down in the low spots on this picture. I will apply it over the wet wax down into the cracks and then wipe it off of the high points. Can y'all see the difference here between the dust and no dust side? Have y'all tried the dust before? Leave me a comment below. I'll be using my new hot glue gun today to make my floral arrangement. This does come with two batteries, the charger, and it even came with some glue sticks. Awesome. So no cords here. It stands up nice and tall on its own. You turn it on by pressing this button right here. So we will let it heat up and get this floral arrangement put together. Again, I do have the link down for y'all below. This is ordered off of Amazon and I have my Amazon shop linked down below too, where I have all of my favorite Amazon items categorized out, easy to shop for you. Since I am reselling this piece, I went ahead and glued my foam in to make sure it stayed in place for good. 
Now to put the glue on top of the foam, I decided to turn my glue gun down just a little bit. It was up pretty high. So this little knob right here on top will adjust your temperature. I applied some glue to the top, then some Spanish moss, and the hardest part was deciding which floral to use. I love using this Walmart lamb's ear in the spring. It's that beautiful sagey color that's super popular right now as well. A couple of pieces of random flowy greenery that I had in my stash. And then I had to pick between blue hydrangeas, some pretty pink roses, or the peonies. And that pop of pink did it for me. I did one white peony and two beautiful bright pink peonies for some beautiful spring vibes. Y'all, I will be honest, I was not really excited about purple. I thought I would hop on the trend, didn't really love the color, but once I start pairing it with some of my favorite colors, green and copper and these warm brown tones, I kind of fell in love. What do you think? Do you love purple? Do you like how I did this purple? Or is it still not your jam? You won't hurt my feelings. Just leave me a comment below. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Here is a couple of pics of some other flips I did recently. You'll be able to find all of these items in my Fresh In for Spring 2022 collection linked down below for you. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, turn the notification bell to all so you don't miss any new videos. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye friends. <sighs> you got this. So dry, everything is so dry.